Welcome back boys and girls to the madcenter.com In this video, I'd like to share with you how to solve this question. This is question number 7 from a very recent exam. The exam was held on 10th of January 2020. This is the Pearson Adexel Further Pure Maths uh, January 2020 exam. The exam code is 4PM101. It's a level 2 paper 1. So this is question number seven. It says solve the equation, uh, log, so you have a logarithmic equation, log to base seven of eight x squared minus six x plus three, minus log of x squared to base 49. So what you can see is immediately people, the base terms are different. This is base seven, base 49. So the left hand side equals to 3 log 2 of base 7. So to solve a log equation, a logarithmic equation with different bases, you must know the rules. The rules are to change base. Okay, so the rule is log of a to base b. If you want to change it to, uh, if you want to change this equation to base a, it will be log a base a over log of b to base a. Log A base A is 1, so it's 1 over log of B base A. That means it's actually the inverse. Log A B is 1 over log of B to base A, you know. Or if you want to change it to an entirely different base, log A B to base C, it will be log A to base C over log B to base C. Okay, so remember this. Okay, these rules, please have it at your fingertips. And so we begin. So this log to base 7, that's not a problem. We can keep it. So log 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 to base 7. But this log of base to base 49, now that one we're going to change. So x squared to base 7 over log 49. 49 is same as 7 squared. Remember, 49 is 7 squared to base 7. So I did skip one line here, but you can replay this and watch this again. So 3 log 2 to base 7. There you go. Okay. So now we are talking the same language. It is in sync. Okay. Uh, or the whole equation is now expressed in terms of um, base 7. So now we have log 7 log of to base 7 of 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 minus this is actually 2 log, oh, sorry, hang on, uh, I'll keep it at that, no, I, I don't want that, I'll keep it. So I'm going to keep the log x squared to base 7 over, this is actually the ba the bottom here, it becomes 2, it's 2 times 1. The 2 in front becomes 2 log 7 to base 7 is 2 times 1, it's equals to 3 log 2 to base 7. Okay, so now I have log of 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 minus, divided by 2 means half, it's actually half log x squared, which means log x squared. The half you can move to the front will be power half. Remember this log, uh, x over 2 means half log x. This half can go to the front, okay? But because you have a square here, it becomes log x squared power half. It becomes log x. So this power will cut each other off, okay? So you have log 7, 2. This 3, I move it to the back, becomes 2 cubed. So now, people, I have log of, if this is log of A minus log of B equals log of C, all to the same base. So you can write it as log of A equals log of C plus log of B. That means A equals BC or CB. Okay? It's a comparative idea. This is only for you. You don't have to write this in your exam. 
just because uh, log questions for log can be quite confusing okay so basically I will have log 7 log to base 7 of 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 equals log of 8 to base 7 this term here I move it here so I add log of x to base 7 okay so this becomes log of 8x to the what is on the right on the left is 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 also log to base 7 so it's just like log on the left equals log on the right both uh, one term on the left one log term on the right you can drop the log term so now you can take 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 is therefore equals to 8x now you simplify you have 8x squared minus 14x plus 3 equals 0 and what do you do you factorize it 8x squared is either 8xx or 4x and 2x which is what I'll pick 4x and 2x I need a 14 so I have a 1 here and a 3 here why because 2x plus 12x 14x but because it's negative I'll take a negative 1 and a negative 3 so minus 2x plus minus 12x will give you that negative 14x quick check therefore when you factorize it completely you have 4x minus 1 bracket times bracket 2x minus 3 equals 0 take the term first term out 4x minus 1 equals 0 x is there for a quarter the second expression not a term 2x minus 3 equals 0 so the second algebraic expression is there for 3 over 2 and so your answer is x is a quarter or x is one and a half will satisfy the above logarithmic equation if we you can play this video again and watch it uh, no problem uh, if you like our content do check us out at www.themedcenter.com give us a thumbs up share and subscribe uh, share uh, with your friends and on social media and i'll see you soon all right